this is a blend extra. Some of the symptoms of the flu and COVID-19 are similar, which could make it hard for many of us to know what's wrong. So today, the ways these illnesses are different and why you should consider a flu shot this year. Dr. Nicole Brady is the Chief Medical Officer at United Healthcare of Wisconsin. We're so excited to have her here. Good morning to you, doctor. Oh, good morning. Thank you for having me. Thanks for being here. You know, I think this is a really tricky year for people and, and scary too, because oftentimes symptoms are, are very similar. So I'm really happy that you're gonna break it down. Um, I think it's a really important conversation. So let's start with the flu shot because many people, Molly and I talked about this. Uh, I've heard other people talking about it. Should you be getting a flu shot this year? Absolutely, absolutely. It is the number one way to prevent that infection for yourself, for your family, and for you to prevent spreading it to other people in your community. So very, very important this year, even more so than other years to get your flu shot. Some of the, the, the symptoms of the flu mimic um, COVID-19 symptoms. So how are they different? You know, honestly, in an individual person, they're basically indistinguishable. Both are respiratory infections. So both can cause fever, cough, stuffy nose, sore throat. The really only distinctive symptom for COVID is really the loss of taste and smell. But either that's, even that's tricky because if you've ever had a stuffy nose, sometimes you just can't taste and smell as good as usual. So very hard to tell the two apart. For the flu, what is United Healthcare doing to help raise awareness about the flu this year? I've heard it said, you know, why wouldn't you take something off the table, you know, so that if, you know, you can just help your body be a little bit healthier this year? Yeah, really, we're pro promoting the flu shot as much as we can to all of our populations. And remember, it's not just about preventing that infection in you, it's about being good family members and community members and not spreading it around to other people but then also doing what we can to support our local providers. We know that the more people that get the flu shot, the less people that will become ill or need to be hospitalized from that infection. And they're already struggling with treating people with COVID that we just don't wanna add more burden to our frontline healthcare workers that are working so hard to support us in our community right now. What are you hearing about getting the flu shot this year? Because I found it fascinating in your wellness checkup survey that 30% of Americans say the pandemic has made them more likely to receive the annual flu shot this fall. Yeah, yeah isn't that great? I mean, the good thing that's come on with this pandemic is more people are willing to get the flu vaccine. And that's super, and I think it comes from a variety of reasons. One is people just don't want to get ill. Maybe they even had COVID and don't, they don't want another um, infection like that again. Um, and two is they want to avoid using healthcare as much as possible and having to go in and be seen. And three, there's just that unknown. We don't know what happens if you get both COVID and the flu. Is your infection going to be even that much worse? Perhaps you're more prone to getting the flu if you've already had COVID. We just don't know any of that right now. And I think that's just encouraged some people to not take the chance and get the flu vaccine. I appreciate it. It's so important. Thanks, uh, Dr. Thanks Brady. For having us. And again, United Healthcare is really encouraging people to get their flu shots this year because the flu and COVID-19 together have the potential to overwhelm your immune system as well as medical providers, as the doctor just mentioned. Be sure to talk to your doctor before you do that. But to find out more about the best place to get your flu shot and more information, you can visit UHC.com.